Harriet Agasiru is a P3 and P4 teacher at Bishop Cipriano Jihangiri Primary School. Like many of her colleagues, Agasiru had to make ends meet when COVID-19 forced government to close schools. Agasiru has moved from selling banana planting by the roadside to starting up a shoe business after her plight attracted the attention of organizations that came to her aid. With some of the financial aid that she received, Agasiru also chose to pursue her long-time dream of becoming a singer. The deadly disease has killed our future. The so, few people who heard the song, they're like, this song is nice, it is touching and it is telling the real story of what is happening. It's deadly disease addressing the impact of COVID. Now that plans to reopen schools have started taking shape, we sought to find out from her whether she'll be returning to the classroom. Teaching has been my profession, so I will not go away out of it because I have got this, I have got this, no, I'll still go back and I teach. But she will continue with her singing career as well. But I can do both of them, yes. I can do both of them. I can have my lessons after my lessons, classes after teaching. I can still do my music. However, she admits that returning to school will be an uphill task. No one is in the mood of going back to school. We find that people have been reluctant, people have been doing their own jobs, you know, at their own pace. So at first, that thing it will affect people, even the children themselves. Whereas many teachers have been looking forward to the school reopening, the private teachers' union says government failed to fulfill its financial pledges to teachers during the lockdown, leaving many of them living in destitute conditions. Private teachers just have a will to go back to school because that is the only avenue for them to have a livelihood. But typically, in terms of preparation, they are not prepared. It has been a period of over two years when we are in lack of any income source. So the solution is within us to pray that the date of tennis come and the schools are reopened and we go back and work for ourselves. On the other hand, some head teachers are confident that they have prepared their teachers well enough ahead of the school reopening. We've been equipped with the skills of uh, giving psychosocial support to uh, learners ahead of uh, reopening. In fact, all the teachers have been engaged to take on the vaccination program. We are always having the SOPs. Everything has been put into place. But Chinato says it would be critical for government to first prepare teachers psychologically before pushing them back into the classrooms. The most important thing what we can do right now is to provide psych some psychosocial support, training that can uh, give reassurance to the teachers. This will be the business as of now before even we think of what, having the, 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 the calendar set for, for the year. Bini warns that if this is not done, reopening schools will be useless. Because you, you will be taking to some, you will be taking someone to a place where we, 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 you, the person does not see any, any future. Psychologist Richard Balikowa offers some expert advice on how the mental preparation of teachers can be done. They should be supported in a way that they are aware that what they are doing in, in Region A is the same being done in Region 2, not harassment. They should not just be harassed because they are not doing what they should be doing because if any case they may not even know what to do. Kids have no motivation. Joyce Nakato, NTV. Tonight. Useless. Useless.